What's going on YouTube? Sam's here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys Trials of Osiris video once again. Burning Shrine is a classic map, guys. We did so many Trials carries this weekend. We had a lot of fun carrying you guys. Remember, we've carried over 3,000 people, and we always match up against other streamers, other YouTubers, and also people with super high ELOs, like in this game, also in some other games over the weekend. We matched up with one guy with over 3,000 ELO. It was freaking crazy. We did end up winning all the games that I'm talking about, guys. I'm going to tell you how we won those games. I'm going to tell you what ELO is all about for those of you who don't know. And and all that good stuff so make sure you guys check us out on live stream you guys can check us out in the description below the link is there we stream during the regular week as well we help you guys we play with you guys we have fun all that good stuff now every video we're giving a small giveaway away to you guys now all you have to do is like the video and comment down below anything about destiny good or bad followed by a hashtag destiny make sure you like the video and also make sure you're subscribed because that way we can direct message you for this video we're giving away a 20 dollars psn card you guys can win it give it to your friend keep it for yourself all that good stuff thank you guys so much for tuning in follow the rules and now let's get into this video keep in mind that in destiny there is no such thing as one player that can just do it all especially in trials of osiris you got to make sure that you're doing teamwork man you guys are going to see us not only rotate together but collapse on these guys now granted everyone says hey sunside spawn is a better spawn but not really if you utilize all three lanes properly look you can have one person all the way on the right side distracting them right which my team is pretty much doing i went to my the left side made sure i got the distraction on the left guy and now i need to do work by myself now granted we're not going to win every single round the people we're playing they're pretty good but hey that's how we persevere that's how we get better now keep in mind that what should your weapon be now, i did say this in my last video in the video before that as well you want to make sure that you have no more than one sniper on your team please Keep that in mind. I say it all the time to my teammates. I want to make sure you guys know as well. It is not beneficial for you guys to have more than one sniper on your team. Why are you saying that, Snipes? Your name is Snipes. What the hell? Well, I'll tell you why. One, they've nerfed the crap out of snipers, okay? Two, a simple clever dragon with high caliber rounds will make your snipers flinch so much that you're just not going to be able to do anything. You're just not going to be a help to your team. You want to make sure that you have shotguns. Why? Shotguns paired with hand cannons or shotguns paired with pulse rifles because you want to be able to collapse on the other team. If you have a bunch of snipers on your team, all you're going to do is play back. Now, if the other team gets a res, let's say you get somebody killed, right? You're like, hey, I have a sniper rifle. I can watch that res with my sniper. All they have to do is revive the guy and slide or revive the guy and just use them as bait and they'll kill you because you're too busy scoped in with your sniper rifle granted there's some people that are absolute gods with sniper rifles not gonna lie i used to be pretty good when i used to snipe all the time as well but that doesn't mean you're going to be able to do everything by yourself you'll come across teams with no thumbs and you'll be able to just do some crazy god clips but i promise you match up against us in trials of osiris and have two snipers on the other team while we have two shotguns and one sniper right we're going to beat you. It's just the way it is. Unfortunately, it's the way it is. Now, granted, teams can do scory and all that other cheese stuff. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Now, let me just quickly tell you guys that don't know what ELO is about ELO. So ELO is kind of like this website ranking system for Destiny. Pretty much, it takes into account your team's average ELO compares it to the other team's ELO. So once you check another team's ELO, if their ELO is much higher than yours and you'll beat them, your ELO will increase more than it would if you just be a team with no ELO on the other team. Now, also keep in mind that if you are a super high ELO and the two people that you're with are super low ELO, that's how you bring your average down. So that's how a lot of people boost their ELO up. It really doesn't determine if you're a good player or not. We've matched up with somebody with like a 50 win streak in Trials of Osiris and we destroyed them 5-0. It wasn't even, it was a joke. And the reason why is because that person is just out there ELO hunting. So don't get scared if you get matched up with those people. I know some of you guys be checking and you guys get scared. Don't be scared, okay? Teamwork makes a dream work, my friends. Now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you want to see more daily videos on Destiny. And I do post Trials of Osiris strategies every single week, along with live trials tips and tricks and play with us in the live stream so thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate you guys so much we'll see you in the next one thank you thank you thank you and peace